Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to be installing Hugo from Source on Windows. Now, I have another video um, for how to do it on Linux. If you're on Linux, head over there. Um, otherwise, let's get going. So, Hugo is a static site generator built in the Go programming language. Um, and they offer binaries, but you know, sometimes it's fun to install things from source. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Hugo from source. First, we're going to have to download and install the Go programming language, which you can get from golang.org. Um, we'll just say download right here, get the MSI file. Yep, I'm gonna save that. And that shouldn't take too long to download. So we'll open that up, yes and we can install go it's pretty basic your typical installer um, and so what this is going to do is allow us to not only have the go programming language but it also comes with it's sort of like the go package manager or uh, maybe it's more like a package downloader and installer um, because it's going to allow us to grab the um, all the Go source code from GitHub. It'll pull it down to our computer and compile it there for us, and it'll give us a nice, tidy uh, hugo.exe executable file that we can um, then use to build our static sites with. All right, so Go finished installing, and I'm going to open up my PowerShell and say Go version and there's our Go version. It looks like I'm using 1.9 at this point in time. So now let's go get uh, Hugo from GitHub. We can do this by saying go git. Hey, I like how they named that. Um, dash V for, for both so we can see what it's doing and it doesn't look like our terminal is just stalled. And then we'll say github.com slash go Hugo dot, not dot IO, just go Hugo IO and then slash Hugo and press enter and now what it's going to do is it's going to download the source code um, and all of the dependencies and it'll compile those all do everything that it needs to do and out will pop the hugo executable when it is all done so here you can see it's downloading a bunch of stuff from like github.com and maybe from golang.org um, so I'll just let this run a little bit and come back to you when it is done. And it looks like it's just about finishing up now. Um, and we should get our Hugo executable in no time. There we go. All right, Hugo has been compiled. And so let's try it out. Hugo version. Think it'll work? Nope. Dang it. And the reason for this is that the Hugo executable, yes, it has been created, but it is currently residing in um, go, um, my home directory, slash go, slash bin. And there it is. There's our Hugo executable. So Hugo version there. Now it works. But hey, let's add this to our path. So I'm going to search for environment variables here in my start menu, and we can just modify this really fast go to my environment variables click on path say uh, new entry here then it'll be under user profile and then go bin okay 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 restart my powershell and now i'll try it out from just my home directory say hugo version there we go and as you can see, this version is version 0.28-dev, which stands for development or developer. Um, and the build date is September 12th, and that's today at 10.26, which is just two minutes after the time right now, which sounds about right. All right, everybody, there you go. That is you how you compile Hugo from source on a windows computer i hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope you learned something from it my name is jacob don't forget to subscribe and have a good one